Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Welcome, this is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, and today we're going to talk all about the man that I believe is the most underrated martial arts actor of today, possibly of all time, Sammo Hung. If you're new to the show, you may not know my voice. I'm Jeremy Lesniak. I'm the founder of Whistlekick, where we make apparel and sparring gear and training aids, and we produce things like this show. I want to thank you for stopping by. If you want to check out the show notes for this or any of the other episodes we've done, you can find those over at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. You can find our products at whistlekick.com or on Amazon, or maybe if you're one of the lucky ones, at your martial arts school, because we do offer wholesale accounts. Thank you to everyone who has supported us through purchases. And even if you aren't wearing a whistlekick shirt or something like that right now, Thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to this episode. As I said, here on today's episode, we're talking about one of the most respected martial arts actors still working today, a man who has been active in the film industry for almost 60 years, none other than Sammo Hung, also known as Hung Kam Bao, maybe Hung Kam Bo. I'll admit my pronunciation is not always the best. I'm doing what I can. Hung originates from Hong Kong, where he is known not only as an actor, but also as an action choreographer, producer, and director. He's collaborated with many other famous martial arts actors, especially Jackie Chan, most notably when Hung served as the action choreographer for some of his most prominent films. Hung was born on January 7, 1952 in Hong Kong, but his ancestral hometown is in Ningbo, Zhejiang. His parents and grandparents were all involved in the film industry in Hong Kong. His grandmother... Xin Xiang was one of the first martial arts actors in Chinese cinema. Hung was enrolled in China Drama Academy, an opera school, because, well, he didn't like traditional schooling. This is where he first met Jackie Chan and Yuan Bao as his classmates, two men who later became movie stars, just like him. The opera school was run by Master Yu Jim Yuan. The name Yuan Lung was given to Hung during his stay at the school, where as a common practice, the given name of their Sifu, their master, becomes the family name of the students. Hung, as the eldest among the students, became the leading member of the Seven Little Fortunes performance troupe. The troupe traveled to several theaters to showcase their talents in acrobatics and acting, not only locally, but also to Western audiences. The troupe was called Seven Little Fortunes not because there were only seven members, but because only seven members would perform in each act. Though all the students earned money from their acts, Hung would still share his earnings with the younger opera school brothers, which, as you might imagine, made him quite popular. Hung first performed at age nine in his very first film, Education of Love, which was released in 1961. The following year, he had another film titled Big and Little Wong Tin Bar, which also featured Jackie Chan in his first movie appearance. The film was followed by The Birth of Yue Fei, The Princess and the Seven Little Heroes, and Little Dragon Girl Teases White Snake Spirit, all in the same year. Not too shabby for someone so young, right? Four years later, Hung worked for Shaw Brothers Studio, there's a name that many of us have heard, which was Hong Kong's largest film production company. His first major role was as an assistant action director at the age of 14 for the film Come Drink With Me in 1966. It was directed by King Hu, a Chinese film director who was best known for his wuxia films in the 60s and 70s. Hung was also an actor in the film Dragon Gate Inn, 1967, which was also written and directed by Hu. The film won the Best Screenplay Award at the 6th Golden Horse Awards. At the age of 16, just shortly before leaving school, Hung suffered an injury which caused him to be bedridden for quite a while. Because he couldn't do much training during this time, his weight started to creep up. It was after he recovered that he started stunt work. This was also when he got the nickname Samo from a popular Chinese cartoon character named San Mao, which means three hairs. It was near the end of 1970 that he started to work for Raymond Chow, the founder of the Golden Harvest Company, now known as Orange Sky Golden Harvest. He was assigned as the action choreographer for the company's very first film, The Angry River, in 1970. Hung's reputation in action choreography grew very quickly. He worked again with King Hu as an action choreographer for two films, A Touch of Zen, 1971, 
which a couple years later won the Technical Grand Prize Award at the 75 Cannes Film Festival, and The Fate of Lee Khan in 1973. He also appeared as a Shaolin fighter in the award-winning film, a movie we talk about quite often on this show, Enter the Dragon, 1973, that starred, of course, the legendary Bruce Lee. In 1970, Hung studied Hapkido in South Korea with Ji Han Jae as his master, who was the student of Choi Young Sul, the founder of Hapkido. Hung's next major films were Shaolin Plot and The Iron Fisted Monk, both 1973. The latter was a martial art comedy where he served as the director, writer, action director, and the lead. He also served as the action director for the film The Man from Hong Kong, 1975, which was the first film produced by both Hong Kong and Australia. The cinematography for the film was done by the esteemed Australian cinematographer Russell Boyd, who worked with folks like Peter Weir, Robert Duvall, and quite a few other big-name stars. He had another well-received action comedy film titled Enter the Fat Dragon in 1978, where he was the director as well as the lead. The film was a parody, of course, of Bruce Lee's Way of the Dragon, 1972. Hung was once again hired as the action director for the reshoot of the unfinished Bruce Lee film Game of Death because, of course, of Bruce Lee's sudden death during the filming. The original film was directed by Bruce Lee himself, but that was picked up by Robert Klaus. And it was Hung's brilliant fight choreography that helped the film compensate for the loss of the star. Their first films of Hung that really exemplified the Wing Chun style were Warriors 2 and The Prodigal Son. Casanova Wong, labeled as the Human Tornado in the Republic of Korea Army, also starred in Warriors 2, where he was best known for the film. The following year, the film Knockabout was released starring Yuen Bao and directed by Hung. The film was a box office hit that boosted Yen's career. In 1978, Hung formed Garbo Motion Picture Company under Golden Harvest, but it was short-lived. It only released two films, Dirty Tiger, Crazy Frog, and Odd Couple, 78 and 79. The company ended in 1980 when the director, Carl Macca, left and formed his own company. One of the major contributions of Hung to the martial arts genre was the way he redefined the concept of martial arts that was usually depicted on screen. The audiences in the 70s were used to films with historical and fantastic settings, but Hung successfully created fight scenes in modern locations. The fight scenes were more realistic and more engaging, especially those long one-on-one -on -one fights. Films that displayed this new concept include Winners and Sinners and Wheels on Meals. Another big project where Hung was involved was the 1983 film Project A, also known as Jackie Chan's Project A, where he served as the co-director, action director, and one of the main stars together, of course, with Jackie Chan and Yen Bao. It was such a big hit that it earned Hong Kong $19 million just in Hong Kong, and that doesn't include the tremendous earnings from abroad, where it was pretty well received. The film won the Best Action Choreography Award at the 4th Hong Kong Film Awards. In 1980, Hung started his own production company, Boho Film Company Limited. Its first film was Encounters of the Spooky Kind, which was also one of the very first kung fu horror comedies in Hong Kong, specifically of the Zhang Shi genre. A similar film that Hung produced was Mr. Vampire in 1985. It was well-received and nominated for 13 awards, but only took home one, for Best Original Film Score. His company produced 40 films up until 1992. Hung was also included in the film series called Lucky Stars. The first film was Winners and Sinners, which we already mentioned, where Hung served as the director, producer, action director, co-writer, and co-star. It won the Best Action Choreography Award at the third Hong Kong Film Awards. The first film went along to make 21.9 million, that's Hong Kong dollars, while the entire series earned more than $100 million. Hung co-founded another production company in 83 called D&B Films Company Limited with Dixon Poon and John Shum. They produced 77 films up through 1992, including the award-winning film Hong Kong 1941, which they released in 1984. Are these dates starting to mess with you? They are me. That starred the famous Chow Yun-Fat. 
One of the most notable films from Hung in the 90s was Mr. Nice Guy from 1997, where Hung and Jackie Chan finally reunited for the first time since Project A 14 years ago. Hung served as the director in this film, and he also did a cameo appearance as an unfortunate cyclist. The film won Best Action Choreography at the 34th Golden Horse Awards. In the same year, another film was released under the direction of Hung titled Once Upon a Time in China and America. Starring Jet Li, Chan was furious with Hung about this movie because he felt he had discussed the film's main idea with Hung during the pre-production from Mr. Nice Guy. But Chan, of course, wasn't involved in that movie in any way. Hung apologized to Chan, and as far as I know, they're all good now. Hung also did the action choreography for the film Ashes of Time in 1994. He was nominated at the 14th Hong Kong Film Awards for Best Action Choreography Award, but didn't win. Still, the film received a total of 11 awards from different organizations. In 1998, we see the first appearance of Hung that a lot of you are going to recall, and that's the TV series Martial Law that aired on CBS in the U.S. up until the year 2000. He was the lead character, but he had very few lines, mainly because he wasn't fluent in English. Surprisingly, it became a hit in the U.S., but it was canceled after just two seasons because of the high production costs, over $2 million per hour-long episode. Another TV series where Hung starred was in 2003's Dragon Laws, which was in China, and he played a police officer named Lung. Sam was also the original action choreographer for the movie Kung Fu Hustle in 2004, but quit after just two months for some vague personal reasons. He was replaced by Yen Wu Ping, also a renowned action choreographer, and you may recognize that name from this show as we talked about him on Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and he also served on The Matrix. In 2005, Hung played a villain in the film SPL, Sha Po Lang, directed by Wilson Yip. This was the first film that Hung, Donnie Yen, and Wu Jing worked on together, where Yen was the action choreographer. Yen and Wu were also directors, just like Hung, in addition to being martial artists. But you knew that about Donnie Yen, right? Hung worked again with Wu in the film's Twin Mission in 2007 and Fatal Move in 2008. Hung also starred in the film Wushu in 2008, directed by Anthony Zetto and produced by, there's a name that keeps coming up, Jackie Chan. It was unveiled at the 2008 Cannes Film Festival. In the same year, Hung worked again with Wilson Yip and Donnie Yen for the film It Man where he served as the martial arts choreographer together with veteran stunt coordinator Tony Leung Su Hong. The film was critically acclaimed. I'm going to guess most of you have seen it, and it won 13 awards, three of which were received by Hung and Leung for Best Action Choreography. Hung once again worked with Yip and Yen for the Ip Man sequel, Ip Man 2, in 2010 as the action choreographer, as well as one of the main characters. Hung suffered multiple injuries as he performed his own stunts despite his age. During the production phase, Hung underwent cardiac surgery, but kept plugging along. On top of that, Hung was struck in the face in one scene by the British boxer, Darren Shalavi, but he endured the bleeding for five hours just to complete the shoot before going to the hospital for attention. He received four stitches for that one strong punch alone. Here we are in 2018, and Hung still has upcoming films including Duel by Daniel Lee, V for Vampire by Vincent Koch, He Who Would Be King by Ju Long, and War Monkeys by Kevin Monroe. Hung also announced a new sequel to the Lucky Stars franchise titled The Return of the Lucky Stars, which has already started shooting. Another of Hung's long-awaited films is a still unnamed woozy comedy film with Stephen Chow. All in all, Hung has worked on at least 272 films in which he directed or co-directed 41 of them, not including the upcoming ones. He's worked in 11 television series. Man, this guy works. On the personal side, Hung is happily married to model and actress Joyce Goodenzi and has been for 23 years. She was the winner of the 1984 Miss Hong Kong pageant, and the two of them have three sons and one daughter. Now, if you know Samuel Hung, if you've seen him on screen, you know why I think so highly of him. For someone to perform at that level 
for that long, to turn out so many wonderful movies and earn the respect of people in multiple countries, continents, for the work that he has done as an actor, as a director, says a tremendous amount about not only his work ethic, but his skill and his ability to grow and adapt to the times. I would like to challenge all of you to go back and listen to one of these many, many movies. Not listen, watch. I want you to watch them. They are all over the place. Of course, you can find the show notes at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com where you can grab the names, some of which I stumbled over, and my apologies for that. I'm getting better. I want to know your favorite Sammo Hung movie or TV show, series, whatever. Comment in the show notes at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com or maybe on YouTube, on social media, we're at Whistlekick. You can find us all over the place or... If you're not a public person, just go ahead and email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. Love hearing from all of you. That's all I've got for now. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.